In this video, we'll be doing steps 10 through 13 of the review assignment in tutorial 11. So we begin with our file open, which is the index report, and our sheet tab is on the five-day averages. Our first instruction tells us that in cell A5, we are to uh, use the Microsoft Query Wizard to get external data from the Horizons uh, fund. So let's go into data, if you're not there already. And then we'll go to from other sources because we want to use a query from Microsoft Query. And we've got our Horizons query saved from last the last steps we took. So let's go ahead and reuse that. And this time, from the category field, I'm sorry, from the company field, we want category. And then from the recent performance table, we want the fields date and closing. Now this is very similar to what we did in the last five steps. However, this time we're going to bring the information in as a pivot table and pivot chart. We're not asked to filter. We're not asked to sort. And so we get here, and if we want to save the query, we can. And um, I'll just leave it at Query from Horizons. That's okay. And let's click Finish. Now, it's at this point that we want to change this to a pivot chart and a pivot table report. And I always like to look at the properties and think about my refresh upon opening or refresh every so many minutes. I'm going to go ahead and turn that on. <clears throat> okay, so I'm ready to bring this in. So I click OK. And uh, surprise, it didn't actually build the pivot table in the pivot chart for me. It leaves that for me to do, but it did bring the information in. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag category as a report filter. And the closing value, we're going to drag over to the values area. And then we're going to drop the date here into the row field. And they do state in the textbook that rather than the total closing or sum of closing, what we want to do is click on that and change it to an average. And you can change the heading up here if you like. I'll just take out the word of. We'll say average closing um, price. How about that? Now while we're here, if we want to display this in a number format like currency, we can click currency. I don't want to bother with um, I'm going to leave it as whole number, so I'm going to cursor down, scroll that down to no decimal places, and then I'm going to click OK. All right, if I click OK, we have both our pivot table here, and we have our pivot chart. Let's get that chart over a little bit so that we can see it a little bit better. All right, now some changes that we're going to make. Let's see. They want us to move and resize the chart basically to where I put it. Let's get rid of this legend since it doesn't have any value. And then let's squeeze this up because they want it to go between C3 and, oh shoot, I'm not getting the arrow there. Are we good? Okay, and uh, C17. So we'll just bring it in, and I17, I'm sorry, between C3 and I17. So we'll just kind of smarten that up a little bit. They want us to change the heading. And so instead of total, it should say, five-day averages. And we want to change the font size here to 12 points. So I'll just select this. You can go back to the Home tab if you like. And then we can either bring this down this way, or we could go in here and choose 12 point. So we'll go ahead and let that settle in. And then they do tell us that they would like to see the category Utilities only. So we'll go ahead and choose that. And uh, looks like I have everything the way I want it. Oh, one other thing. They didn't want the grand total to show here. So in order to get rid of the grand total, I want to click on my pivot table, which brings up my pivot table options. And I will choose the options tab. And you'll find it under totals and filters. Right here, show grand totals for columns. I'm going to turn that off. All right. And another thing is we can change this chart type. This is not very revealing when we're talking about a trend or a five-day average. I think a line chart would be better. So let's select the chart. 
let's go to the pivot chart design tab and over on the left you'll see change chart type we'll select that command go down to the line type of charts and click OK all right that looks pretty good now the last thing that they're asked that we are asked to do is to um, record some information about this connection because remember we're linking to this access database so let's go over to the data tab and let's look at the connections Oh, got to get out of the, you got to click away from the table to do that. So let me click into a clean area. Okay, there we go. And remember, uh, the computer had called it Query from Horizons. And if you click here, this will give you the information that this is the five-day average sheet, which has a pivot table and the location of that. And of course, we could refresh. But we can also go and view the properties of this connection, and we could rename it. And we could type a description. And then again here, we can permanently change our refresh uh, property. Click OK. Click Close. And that's what that should look like. This is the end of the video.